Good to be seen. Any good news for you, friend? <laughs> I'm going straight to heaven for this. Now here you go! Oh, Lord, what did I do? What did I do? Now you're coming with me.
Let's go! Good it is to see you. What's going on? Well, hello, Bears. Come on! I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice, then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. And there ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. We're not gonna be able to hear each other in this rain. Just make sure you don't lose sight of me. Let's take them over to the other herd. We'll try to drive them all back to the ranch together. Come on.
Bird back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest. And they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! 
I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clouds in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. Nearly there. Everybody Whoa. dismount. Follow me. Head for the fort! Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Compliment. I'm the goddamn law. Looks like that's all of them for now. Let's push forward to the bridges. This way. Hell no. Can I have this? Let's go, Marshal. Get a move on. Wash yourself. 
got themselves an army. Yeah, rustling's a profitable business, and they ain't short on willing recruits these days. Why the man break his back working 12 hours a day for a rancher who can't afford to pay him? But the rancher can't pay him because those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. Yep, it's one of them vicious circle things the marshal keeps jawing about. Come on, up the hill. Marshal of yours sure doesn't seem to mind getting his hands dirty. Oh, he ain't afraid to pull the trigger, all right. And he's been after these rustlers for a long time. Let's see what you got. All right, stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. Fire, please! 
think that's all of them. Fine shooting, boys. Now come on, let's untie those hostages. <sighs> Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. 